Hey guys, it's me and Navia. So, working on my dissertation. It's 11, 12 p.m., 12 minutes after 11. I didn't even know what time it was until I got up and went in the room. I had no idea. And um, I had to create another ser survey and just putting together my research questions, but I, I read an article, I read an article on basically how to spend time with God even when you have a busy and hectic schedule. And so before I read the article, when I just saw the name, I'm thinking, how do you not spend time with God? Like, how do you, how do you go through your day? And I'm not like one of those, I don't know, super spiritual people. I'm just like regular. And like any relationship, you have to spend time and there needs to be a cultivation process, a nurturing process. That's just how relationships work. And um, I'm, I don't know, I just have some questions around that. But anyway, so as I'm reading the article, I'm seeing how life can come in and mess that, mess with your time and mess with your head, your head space. She mentioned how there was a woman who got a report that her son had juvenile diabetes. Another woman said, your daughter has terminal cancer. And so that would, that would kind of interrupt your devotional time, whether it's 15 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever time that you've set aside, either in the morning or at night before you go to bed, either one or both, there's no set Devastation can come and unseat any relationship and cause stress. Whether it's physical stress, emotional stress, mental stress, just stress. And somebody may say, well, you know what? That should push you closer to God. And I could say, yeah, that's, yeah, you want to run to daddy on that, on that one. Especially if death is coming or sickness is coming, that's a like you go right to him. But some people will just be unseated by life's circumstances, the curves, the the dropout that when the floor just drops out from under you and you are pretty much emotionally stuck. So then, what is your process? How do you work through it? Can you name a time where that's happened to you, where everything was good and your relationship with God was good and then all of a sudden, you haven't talked to him in a few days, you haven't talked to him in a few weeks, you haven't talked to him in a few months. Does God understand? He understands everything, he knows everything. But one of the things he knows for sure is that close proximity. You know, the joy of the Lord is my strength. I will keep my mind stayed on him. And that's how I'm gonna have perfect peace. Life happens. Things happen. But we gotta stay connected to the vine. Super important. So, how do you cope? How do you spend time with the Lord? When trials come, how do you deal with that? Do you remind yourself who God is? Do you forget? Talk to me. Let me know. I really am interested 
to know how you process through, how you build your relationship, what has come into your life to kind of cause him to be put on the back burner. And I know you don't want to think, I put God on the back burner. I know you don't want to think that, but is there a possibility that you have? Let's talk about it. I want to hear about it. So I I thank you in advance for your thoughts. And um, let's see if we can get to the bottom of this thing. All right. So with that said, I am the Viabot Yehuda. Bring you intimate truth. It's the truth that you embrace that makes you free. And I will see you on the next one. Shalom, shalom.